Let's get you in the loop on the brand new release of Companion 2.2. This one's been in the making for over a year now and it packs a lot of great features and improvements. First up, the app is signed on Windows and Mac and that means that you don't have to jump through a security check before you install it. Once you're up and running, you'll see a few changes to the UI. It has been rewritten to be faster and more responsive. It has this nice fresh feel to it and when you're adding buttons, it does feel a lot faster and better to use. In fact, many of us have been using this in beta for over a year now and it works really well. There's a new schedules and trigger feature built right into the UI, which allows you to add triggers based on times of day or other variables within Companion. For example, every day at 9am, Companion could press this button to turn on all the lights on the studio. You can also set your own custom variables within Companion to be used across buttons. This is great for getting a little bit more advanced into Companion and we can cover this in a future video on the channel. One of my personal favorites in 2.2 is the ability to remove the top bars and all the buttons. This removes that 1.1, 1.2, etc. and gives a much cleaner interface. A couple more really nice features here are the support for X keys. Instances are now called connections. You can rescan USB devices right from the tray menu. The Elgato official plugin is now turned off by default, which should help resolve some crashes that were happening in the past. And there's over 70 new modules and updates to many of your favorite modules, including, of course, this module for HTOR Graphics version 2. It's in there now. At this moment, we don't know how often these stable builds will be released for Companion in the future, but I'm hoping the process overall gets a lot faster. I have heard from a few devs who work closely with Companion that they're working towards a good fix for this and a more regular release schedule. Version 2.2 is now available over on the BitFocus site. I recommend grabbing a copy of it, testing it out, and then using it in your future productions. If you have any questions on this, let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, consider yourself in the loop on Companion version 2.2.